cousins, Kim folks, what's good? Or dolls, Ken dolls, what's good? It's your girl. Back with another episode for the channel. I'm in Miami. I am picking up a doll from surgery right now, and I would definitely love to keep her, uh, you know, HIPAA and her uh, identity anonymous. You know, that's how we roll over here. So I'm gonna let y'all see what a typical setup looks like. And this is how we set up the back of the van. We have a full size air mattress in the back, covered with the disposable chuck pads. We then have the shower liner. We then have a bed sheet. We typically do it the other way, bed sheet, shower liner, then bed sheet, but I messed up this morning, so it's all good. But we have the bed sheet, shower liner, and then a layer of chuck pads. Comment down below if you know what this is. This is a spirometer, a breathing spirometer. When you have surgery, when you come out, we're gonna make sure. Let me see, let me get it focused. We need you breathing between a 500, come on, camera focus. Between a 500 and 1500, okay? That's the patient's file right there, client's file. We have ginger ale set up. We need you to burp after surgery. As soon as you come out of the center, we need you to burp so that way we know your bowels have not been obstructed and you can get the maximum amount of O2 and oxygen needed in your body. You'll also see that I have an alcohol prep pad right there. That is for in the event that you get faint, lightheaded, you can smell that. Then we have our O2 monitor right here so we know exactly how much oxygen is in your body and this is what a typical setup looks like for recovery yeah cousins ten folks what's good it's your girl i'm back i'm in walmart in miami and i just want to talk about this i just want to talk about this helping one of my clients recover from surgery she's doing very great we are we set her up for a successful recovery and i'm just in walmart picking up some extra items you know that we like need to re-up on for the duration of her time here and y'all everything is so much more expensive here like I'm gonna take y'all over to the fruit where I found a bag of oranges for ten dollars. You heard me. I found a bag of oranges for ten dollars. Ten dollar oranges. And right now I'm just trying to find like a little cheap box of trash bags. I see those right there for a dollar ninety-eight, but that might be a little too cheap because I'm only going. They only gonna be here until Tuesday. But I also want to make sure that they have quality bags that's not going to bust open on them and my client's stuff's going to be all falling all over the place and the whole hotel going to know that she had surgery. So I want to make sure that I get quality trash bags. But I'm also not trying to break their pockets either. Well, why are Glad trash bags so flirting and expensive? Like they used to be $5. Now they 7 Inflation like a mug. Because I don't want them to feel like, you know, I'm just trying to like spend their money because I'm not. In the same token, like we need quality shit. I personally, I would be upset if somebody spent five dollars on forty trash bags for four days. So I'm just gonna grab these, and they are hopefully a dollar ninety-eight. I don't know if they're in the right spot. Boom! We got the trash bags. We need to grab some Clorox wipes, laundry detergent, and Chuck pads. Good. He said that food is good. Now we're gonna give a hospital class. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 